Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Rice Color. And this is the reading for Saturday, the 19th of June. I got to get myself set up here. Give me a second. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Okay. <laughs> now I'm set up, I think. I really want to put silk down, but it's so slippery that um, it's it's really not good for doing cards. So I use cotton. Um, I just have to put the silk on the board. Okay, let's see what's up. I'm a very busy person these days, which I'm very grateful for, because I was a very not busy in the past few months. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Saturday. Nice day, very lovely. Okay. There we go. We begin with the star. And then we go into the Knight of Cups, the offer. The hangman. Very nice. You know, I like the hangman. The hangman has a lot, a lot of meanings. Okay. Um, direction, focus, luck, inspiration. Non glare. We're going to do non glare. The, the star is so bright, it's glaring. Um, it's the Pleiades also. So it's, you know, I always feel like it's just blessings. It's blessings from above. It's like um, you're guided and you understand what you came here to do. And, you know, so many people are like, oh, well, what's my life purpose? La, la, la. Uh, we have a million life purposes. We have a million. It's not just this one for, oh, my purpose is to, I don't know, sing. Let's say sing. Okay, so you sing. But your purpose also might be to be a gardener. Your purpose also might be to uh, be a wonderful aunt or uncle to your nephew or niece. Your purpose also might be... Um, you know, to spread joy wherever you go. Your purpose might be to uh, be the catalyst in other people's lives. There's no one purpose. That's why there are seven. <laughs> seven, seven pointed stars. So this is, you know, about clarity also, about clarity of purpose. It's about direction. It's about inspiration, about hope. And then we go into the lovely Knight of Cups and the kind of Knight of Cups offers a gift. And he offers a gift of healing, like an offer. It's an offer. It's an emotional offer. It's like somebody's giving you or you're giving somebody something, the elixir. I wonder what it tastes like. I'm sure it doesn't taste like Kool-Aid. <clears throat> Kool-Aid is rather disgusting, actually. Like, the commercials were great. But then, you know, you convince your parents to get it and you get it and like, even as a kid, I was like, this is a little disgusting. Okay. And then we get the hanged man. Okay. So this is, as I'm, looking at the cards. So the hanged man is very interesting. He put himself on the tree to get a different viewpoint, a different angle, a new understanding, um, to take in, from in, in information that from a, a vantage point that he's not used to, from a vantage point that's upside down. You know, maybe seeing, um, seeing something from somebody else's viewpoint seeing something from a completely different viewpoint or but there's also an element of um 
of sacrifice here, of self-sacrifice, willing self-sacrifice, okay? Because he put himself on the tree. That's like, the, that's a really important thing to remember. So I think in terms of, you know, where you're going, um, there's an offer either you're making or um, has been made to you and there might be some sacrifice involved, but it's, it's a sacrifice you're willing to make. You know, sometimes, um, you know, you have to meet people halfway. You know, sometimes in order to, you know, make peace and in order to, you know, this is also like the peacemaker, in order to make peace and to make everything um, flow more easily, it's like, okay, well, uh, you offered me this and then I offer you this back, even though like, it's not what I usually would have offered, but you're offering me so much. So I'm gonna kind of, you know, see things from a different angle and maybe give more of myself than I usually do or give a different piece of myself or um, allow myself to see things from your perspective as opposed to mine or from a larger perspective. This is also about a larger perspective because he, this is Odin on the tree and he puts himself upside down because he wants to gain vision and he wants to gain um, like a spiritual perspective an understanding of the other realms. That's what that's about. So I'm not saying twist yourself into a pretzel, but it's kind of like, um, it, it's kind of like going to visit a friend that um, lives sort of far away and there's nothing to do around there. And you kind of extend yourself a little bit further, you know, in order to make peace, in order to, um, you know, to sacrifice part of yourself and part of like what's convenient for you so maybe you go and see a friend that's, it's just an example, you know, like a little bit far away in a place that's a little inconvenient, you know, because they kind of need you or want to see you. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, it's not ideal. It's kind of like in my way, it's not exactly, but it feels like something like to that extent, to, to that, it's a little bit like that. I'm going to throw one more because I don't know. Yeah, it's going to happen rather quickly. It's going to happen rather quickly. You know, sometimes this is seen as the card of strife, but I'm not feeling strife in this. I'm feeling quick motion, feeling new ideas. Um, so maybe this understanding of what you have to um, put on hold, so to speak, right? Maybe you have to put your ego on hold a little bit. This is sort of on hold too. It's like a little bit of a pause. Maybe doing that will give you new understandings, new messages. I think that's what it is. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna name it, but you know, I could worry about that as I change my shirt to do the weeklies. Um, it's a nice reading. You know, you, you start with the star and then the Knight of Cups. So it's either you offering or you being offered. Um, I think it's you though. I think it's you offering. That's what I think. You know, you're extending yourself to somebody um, maybe in a way that you're not used to or in a way that's might also be something that's um, maybe a little bit um, vulnerable, maybe a little bit vulnerable, more vulnerable than you used to be. And uh, which is always a little strange, but it feels like that's what you're supposed to be doing. Or it feels like it seems that that's the way the cards are being read today. I have to try, well, 
to not be so opinionated. Yeah, good luck. All right, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Blessings. See you soon.